Hello, this is a virtual microscopy slide showing the heart and over here is probably part of the left ventricle. This is the epicardial fat and here is a coronary vessel. The pathology that we're going to focus on is in this coronary artery and it's actually a very abnormal artery. Uh, what's left of the lumen is actually over here. And this entire area here is a large atheroma. So the atheroma is occupying probably around 75 to 80% um, of the internal diameter of the artery, causing some narrowing. And then superimposed on that, there has been a formation of a thrombus. And here we have an organizing thrombus. So let's look at the components one by one. And I'm first going to demonstrate the microscopic features of the atheroma. So here is the lipid core of the atheroma. And on high magnification, we don't see a lot of cellular material, but we see this pink amorphous material and we see a lot of these kind of empty cleft-like spaces. These are known as cholesterol clefts. And this is because the lipid washes out during the processing stages of this microscopic slide and hence they end up looking like empty spaces. This is part of the fibrous cap of the atheroma and this is composed of fibroblasts, some inflammatory cells and sometimes we can also see smooth muscle cells and in some areas we can just uh, make out a few foamy cells, for example, over here, we can see some macrophages with abundant, bubbly, pale, lipid-rich cytoplasm. So this plaque is composed of a central lipid core, and then around it, we have a lot of extracellular matrix material, protoglycans, we have collagen, elastin, there are fibroblasts, some inflammatory cells, and also smooth muscle cells. And this is the fibrous cap. When the fibrous cap ruptures, this causes formation of a thrombus, which further narrows and sometimes occludes the entire lumen of the coronary artery. And of course, this then leads to myocardial infarction. What can actually happen to a thrombus is it can dissolve, it can organize, as you see here, it can propagate itself, it can recanalize or it can break off little bits to travel downstream to different and smaller vessels, and those are known as emboli. Here we are looking at organization or an organized thrombus, and how we know it's organized is when we look at higher magnification, we don't see the appearance of a fresh thrombus, which is a lot of red blood cells and fibrin strands. Instead, we see this a little bit um, more thick, bundly looking collagen, pinkish material. So this is collagen. This is fairly mature. This has been laid down by the fibroblasts. And we see in some areas an, a little attempt at reforming the lumen of this original artery. So this patient had survived the initial myocardial infarction with the occlusion of the coronary artery. And now this is part of the healing process of organization of the thrombus, where there is a lot of collagen being laid down and a little bit of this recanalization in order to re-establish some blood flow. Hence, this is an example of an organized thrombus with an underlying atheromatous plaque. Thank you.